Hi everyone, I'm Bill. I'm Justin. And welcome to Car, Car Reviews. Reviews. First review of 2018. Happy New Year everyone. Happy New Year. And um... And no, we did not go see a stupid January movie. We, we went to see an Oscar buzz movie. We just saw The, the Post. Post. Steven Spielberg's newest film. And Stop. we'll be seeing another one in two months. <laughs> With um, Ready Player One, right? Mm-hmm. We had starring Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep. Okay, before we go into this, one, you know, I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, these aren't type of kind of movies that you guys usually do. We usually do the more, you know, the more blockbustery, actiony, comic, comedy stuff. And screw you guys. We we watch movies because we think they're good movies. We don't watch movies because. We don't watch a certain type of movies only. We like to broaden ourselves. We like to watch movies that have been proven to be good movies. And we heard a lot of great things about this movie. Steven Spielberg, one of my favorite directors. One of mine, too. And, um, yeah. And this review may get a tad controversial. We don't know yet. We're just going to see as we go. Right, Justin? We'll try the, to keep it as controversial list as possible. The nature of this movie is about the relationship between the news and the presidency. Yes. So, Which, as we all know, right now, is very strained. But this is during Nixon's time. If I can give the... The plot? Yeah, can I? Go right ahead. Okay, so it takes place in 1971... When we go, we're at the Washington Post, which at this time was a, you know... Small town paper. Small town local paper. You just get, like, you know, feature news. But, and you have Kathleen Graham, played by the, the wonderful Meryl, Meryl Streep, Streep. Who is, who is the editor-in-chief, or... The head of the paper. She's the head of the paper. And now, because she, she has a lot to prove, because she's the first... E female head of the Washington Post. It was her father's. Then it was her husband's. And then her husband passed away, and now she's in charge, and now she has a lot to prove. Yes. And all, so what's going on at this time, the New York Times, which was no more than, more as the big, you know... the One of the biggest papers, and it still is. Yeah. Got their hands on documents, a study... That was done by then Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara about about that every president knew that the Vietnam War was basically unwinnable. Ever since Truman. And that they couldn't do it. And the paper and it got published, and then the Nixon administration found out and they put an injunction on the paper, but then a person who works for the Washington Post got in contact with someone who knows all this and then got the whole study in the Washington Post. They published it. They published it, and it well, features, you know, the, I think, the real editor-in-chief, Ben Bradley, played by one of everyone's favorite people, Tom, Tom Hanks. Hanks. And this is a, I think this is a very important movie. Anyone who wants to go into, like, journalism. Yeah, this movie is. Because we were, we were both communications majors in college, yes. so it's sort of, you know. I took a few journalism classes. I took one or two as well. And I think this is if you if you want to go into journalism, I think I think this is a very important movie to watch. Absolutely, because it it really delves into what's going into the decision to run with the story. Because yeah, you have the injunction put on the New York Times. You have um, Catherine Graham's relationship with Robert McNamara. They're supposedly really good friends, as was Ben Bradley to JFK. Um, and it, and it comes to this realization, you're either a friend or you're a source. You can't be both, really. So, there's all these factors that Catherine Graham's like struggling with, Along with the fact that she doesn't want to be this local paper, the post just went public on the stock exchange. This could risk their reputation. She's just trying to be, you know, she's trying to play it safely. 
But Ben Bradley is actually who's Tom Hanks' character, says, no, we got the information the public deserves to know. So they run it. They, the attorney general tries to get them to take it back and they fix basically it, say, damages. screw and you. They said, we respectfully decline, goodbye. Goes to the Supreme Court. And the Supreme Court rules in their favor. Listen, we're not really giving support. Like, this is a, this really happened. You can go Google this. Yes, this is, this is history. It's not spoilers. This is history. You can go on Wikipedia and read up on Catherine Graham and the Washington Post, and you'll get the same story. This is just dramatized. And dramatized. I'm sure they took some artistic liberties. Of course. Like that little girl with the lemonade. I don't know. That how was actually she... kind of funny. Okay, can I just say that with every Spielberg movie, no matter how dramatic it is, there's always that little bit of levity. Which is one of the reasons why I love Spielberg so much. Yeah. Because he's here to kind of remind us that the world's not going to end, even in the darkest of hours. There's still some levity to have. Yeah. He even does this more subtly. Like, if you see the film... Schindler's List, which I would think is one of Spielberg's darkest films. Mm. There is a scene because the whole movie's in black and white. Yes, and there's a scene in a girl with with the red with a red coat. Red on. coat. I think that is supposed to be a symbol of hope. Mm. But um, yeah, he does put a little bit of levity. As a movie, I liked it. As a movie, it's it's a it's a really good movie. Is it one of my favorites from Spielberg? Not, not even close. <laughs> I don't know. I would have... But, um, um, I think Hanks and Streep were great. I mean, it's Tom Hanks and Meryl Streep in the Steven Spielberg movie. They're not going to half-ass it. They did... It, is it their best performances? No. I, it's not like Meryl Streep's redoing Sophie's Choice. It's not like Tom Hanks is redoing Philadelphia. Or Forrest Gump. Or Forrest Gump. Or Castaway. Or... Think of another really good Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> uh, uh, or Captain Millen, Saving Private Ryan. Or that. It's it's a true story. He was playing to who this guy really was. Yeah. And I think they both did it really well. Meryl Streep's had this regality to her, this uh, cool, calm, and collectiveness to her that... You, you have to respect. Yeah. And um, I think this... Like I, I said, I thought the acting was good. And I thought it was very well paced. Like, it was... This, this is not a long movie. Okay. Just, this is not a long movie. This is like, what, just under two hours? I think around two hours, yeah. Um, and, but you know what? What I like is because I've seen movies that are not two hours and they just like... They just drag. Like, they drag, but they rush. But they try to rush everything in at the same time. You know what I mean? I I'll say this. What? There is. I think I could have done with ten more minutes. Yeah, because you said you wanted to see the arguments in the Supreme Court. Yes. They bring this to the Supreme Court, and they literally breeze through it. Like it goes from. Them introducing the Supreme Court justices, all rise and all that, to all the newspapers leaving the courthouse, and we get the decision two minutes later. As and with me thinking, I want to hear what Catherine Graham's going to say in in court. What Ben no, Bradley? No, they, they don't get no in Supreme Court hearings. Nobody's called to the stand or anything. Wait, what? Yeah, nobody's called to stand in anything in the Supreme Court hearing. So how how does that work then? Each, I should know, I took a whole class on judicial system. I was a poli sci minor, so. Um, do you want me to tell you now or want me to tell you off camera? Give the Cliff Notes version now. They have both sides give, like, I think either a half hour or an hour to argue their case. So who would have represented the newspapers? I really don't know. I don't know if it would be the Times paper, Times lawyers, or the Post lawyers. Maybe it's that one guy who we were 
thinking, who do we know him from? You know? Yeah. The lawyer guy from uh, the post. Yeah. Um. But anyway, like, like I said, this is, I think, a very important movie. And you know what? I don't remember seeing this in a lot of history books, yo. No. No, I remember, like, how unpopular the Vietnam War was and everything. I've learned about it. But I never really knew how uh, even people on the inside were like, yeah, there's no way we're going to win this thing. Like, I, and I've seen Robert McNamara's, like, documentary. You know, the one where he, like, has those seven things he's learned. No, I haven't seen that. It's a really good documentary. It was, like, right uh, gotta, before he died, I gotta, he did it. I gotta check it out. But, uh, Not, yeah. This, I don't even remember that from his documentary. But this is a movie that says, like, you know, but you can see, like, all the sides. Like, Catherine Graham doesn't want to hurt the, the paper's chances. She wants to protect, you know, the legacy. What else does she want to do? She, want, she doesn't want to ruin her friendship with Bob McNamara that we talked about a few minutes ago. And she does want to go to prison. Yeah. <laughs> and you can also see where Ben Bradley's coming from. He's the guy who says, you know, media should hold public figures accountable. Mm-hmm. The press is for the governed, not the governors. As what was said by Judge, by Justice Hugo Black in the Supreme Court rule. And also, fun fact, um... Ben, ben Bradley, Tom Hanks' character in this movie. Hmm. I told you this one, Justin. His son, I think his name is Dan. Somebody looked that up. Google, it exists. It's wonderful. Um, his son, Dan, was actually a part of the team of the Boston Globe that was featured in the movie Spotlight. Really? Which then, um, which actually, if for those of you who haven't seen the movie Spotlight, by the way, it's really good. Which was the team in Boston that helped took down, uh, that helped not really take down, but helped reveal the um, sex abuse scandal that was going on in the Catholic Church in Boston. Mm. So, so yeah, I, so you know, good family right there. Yeah, they really revealed, and I was kind of making the connections knowing that when I was walking in here, but I think like in this one it was more like a governmental situation yeah while spotlight was more of like a cultural situation yes yeah, so but anyway talking this as a movie i think streep and hanks are going to get nominated for best actor and best actress are they going to win i don't know i don't think they're going to win but i do think a nomination is definitely possible um, this film's gonna get nominated for best picture best picture Possibly, especially with the 10-picture limit. If it was only five pictures, do you think it's? Do you think it would get in? Or do you think it would just I maybe squeak in? I don't know. Because there were a lot of good movies this year. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about that later. Yes. Um, but overall, I like the movie. I, I Spielberg's going to get a Best Director nominee. You think so? Um, I don't know. It... He has a really good chance. I'll say that. Yeah. He has a really good chance and... Because I don't think this movie won any Golden Globes, right? No, it did not win... No. Anything. No. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a great movie and... Like I said, this is an important part of history that we don't really hear about. And yeah, um, I would give a two thumbs up. Me too. Okay, and now um, that is our review of The Post. Um, our next review, we don't know yet. Since we did an Oscar Buzz movie, we may have to do a, you know... A shitty January movie. What are, what's it going to be? Stay tuned. But also, before that... We're going to be... Ha well, you'll see later. We're um, going to do something fun. Okay, we kind of advertised it in our Jumanji review. Well, it's gonna, that's going to be up before... This is, so we don't have to really advertise it. Okay, so, bye!